One of the things you need to be very careful about when you're soldering transistors like these ones is you need to be very careful to not burn the transistor by applying too much heat with the soldering iron to one of the leads. So I'm just going to show you a strategy of how I make sure that I don't burn my transistor accidentally. Of course, you always want to look at your circuit diagram when you're putting your transistors in. But in this case, I know how they're supposed to go. They're supposed to go in like this. And I like to have the transistor as low as possible on the board. You want to put all of the transistors that you're going to solder in right now. To avoid roasting my transistors by applying too much heat on them, the trick is to give yourself 10 seconds in between each solder connection, so that allows the transistor to kind of cool off a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder this one first, and then while that's cooling off, I'm going to move on to the other transistor and solder this one. And while that's cooling off, I'll work on this one, and then I'll work on this one. And then by the time I'm done, I'm going to move on to this one, which is cooled off, then this one, then this one, then this one. You get the idea. So let me show you what I mean. In this case, I missed and I couldn't get any solder on it. So I want to wait a little bit and let that cool down for a bit before I move on and try to apply more solder. Now I'm going to work on this one. While I'm waiting for this one to cool off, I'm going to work on this one here. It should look like this. When you're done, you'll want to keep the leads long. Do not trim them with the flush cutters yet because you may want to test your transistors first.